when I do interviews, one of the questions that I always ask is how they deal with stress. And the typical answer that most teachers give is that they take a deep breath or they walk away from the situation. And I always ask them to go a little bit further because I don't think that's enough. I don't think that's realistic either. When you're in a stressful situation in a classroom, you often don't get to stop and take a deep breath. Um, so I try to get them to go a little bit further into the question and think about who they are as, a, as people. So what I'll end up doing is asking them, well, what do you do on the weekends? And, you know, if, if I were to say to you, what are you going to do tonight? It's not teaching related. What are you going to do? And that gets them to start to kind of think about who they are as teachers. So not just, you know, teacher in front of the classroom, teaching, blackboard, chuck, you know, that kind of thing. But instead thinking, okay, well, I'm a jogger or I like to read a lot of books or um, I'm going to spend, you know, tonight hanging out watching a new movie that is being showcased at the Vancouver International Film Festival because I'm really into film. Um, and that helps me to then get to know that person a little bit better. And then the next time we talk, we have something to talk about other than just the teaching side of things. Once we've done that, we've kind of developed a little bit better of a relationship. They think it's just an interview question, and it is, but for me, it's a way to get to know that person better, and then when they call me about their teaching practice, I'm able to then say to them, so how's it going? What's gone really well today? And we've got something else to kind of anchor our relationship now, because I can now talk to them about film in Vancouver, and that kind of opens the doors. It is difficult. I think a lot of teachers want to be reflective, uh, especially these new teachers, but their first year, their second year, their difficult years and they're spinning their wheels and if anything they're almost too reflective but in an insecure way. Once they have that life experience, they've got the teaching experience, they're in a better place to start to say, okay, this is who I am as a teacher, these are the issues I'm facing, this is what I want to do with my life. Um, and we can have a bit of a deeper of a discussion.